So you're Mount Rushmore of sports journalists. Man, this is tough, bro. This is so tough. Like, cause there's so many different ways that I can go. My Rushmore is four, correct? I'm going to pick four. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, that's, that's tough, bro. That's tough. And 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 mine's definitely going to be. I know mine's going to be controversial just because I know people aren't going to uh, aren't going to agree with a lot of the. Well, at least I know one of the people that I'm going to say for sure. People aren't going to probably agree with it, but I'm, I got to start with Stephen A. Smith. And I think people get it twisted right now because of kind of how he manifests himself on ESPN. Like he's he's a one one of the talking heads. He definitely does more like hot takes now. They use him a lot for like you know these like you know viral moments. You know what I'm saying? But like he started as a columnist with the Philadelphia Inquirer, like as a writer. You know what I'm saying? Covering the Sixers, and he worked his way up from there as one of the first African American sports journalists, really in in the space. That they even allowed, like, like on television, like, huge personality. Like, growing up, I was like, man, this, this dude, like, they let this dude come on here and, like, be loud and be himself. And, like, I always admired that because I'm, like, I'm, that's how I am. Like, I'm loud. When, I, when I'm passionate about something, like, I, I'm loud. Like, I'm going to, you're going to, you're going to feel me. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, I, I know nowadays, like, they, he's, a, he's, like, he's more of, like, a hot take guy. But when he first came out and he was, like, he was writing columns and he was doing, and the thing is, even now, he does a podcast, he does radio, he does TV, like, you know, he doesn't write anymore, but like, to be able to, to be able to write, to be able to do TV, to be able to do podcasts, like, and to be able to do all that, you know, in, in the course of sometimes in, in a day, like, people don't understand how hard that is, you know what I'm saying? And so for him, just being one of the first African Americans to, to navigate that space and to be able to be one of the first black people on television, to kind of people that, people that look like us can see him and be like, man, like, you know, I, I want to do that someday. You know, it's, I, I think he's for sure, he's on my route, Mount Rushmore. So I got to say him. I'll go Michael Wilbon as well, another African-American that, again, like can write, can is on been on television forever. Like great, just like neutral, like objective, like has been doing it forever. Also like trailblazed a lot um, for African-Americans as far as being on television and you know, PTI has been on TV for years and years and years and years and years. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite sports shows to watch. I'd say those those two for sure are on my Mount Rushmore. I'm going in a different direction with the last two. I actually this guy's actually been in the news recently. This this is kind of just a personal favorite of mine. I love Zach Lowe. Um, he, he's he actually just got laid off by ESPN, but he another guy man like can can do podcasts, can write, like can do TV, like and he's so smart and he's so well. Like prepared on in any of his episodes, I, I love watching the Low Post. One of my favorite podcasts to watch. If you like the NBA, like you have to watch the Low Post. Like it's like, you know, it, it's thought out. It's not hot take. It's like factual. It's based on numbers. Like he's he's very objective. And again, another guy like you know his ten things columns like used to be like amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but again, another guy that can write, that can do long form, that can do. TV, that can do podcasts. Like, he's just very versatile, very smart, very educated, and I'm, I'm always somebody who's loved his content. Um, and then for the fourth spot, man, this, this is where it gets tough, man. I got to show love to some ladies, man. Like I said, I grew up watching Jamel Hill. She was outstanding on television with her and Michael Smith. Jackie McMullen, another NBA uh, reporter who's done it for a long time. Ramona Shelburne, also another woman who's been amazing. Like, I think... It's hard to I, – I'm, I'm going to cheat and put all three of them in, in one spot just because I, I got to show some love to some, to some women. And I don't know which one of them I, I, – it would be hard to pick one. But all three of them, man, like I said, I grew up watching His and Hers every day and then it turned into Numbers Never Lie. Numbers Never Lie first, then it was, and then it was His and Hers with her and Michael Smith, man. And Jamel, she is so intelligent. Again, so fiery. Her personality is just like she – and she, she's not spread, spread to stay with her chest. And if you follow on social media, she still does to this day. But another super intelligent, like knowledgeable woman, black woman, who has blazed a trail for a lot of people that have come come after her. And um, then Ramona Shelburne and, and Jackie McMullen, two women who are extremely knowledgeable about the NBA, also both can write, can do TV. Again, I think that's big for me is being able to be versatile. Like people who can do multiple things, can can write, can you know, can do short term, can, can do you know short form journalism, can do long form, can do podcasts, can do television. A lot of people can't do that. Can do radio, like. That's very important for me. It's just in terms of like another way you can add value, like, you know, be versatile, you know. So that, that's what I would say. That's, 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 that's my Mount Rushmore. I definitely cheated a little bit, but, I, you know, that's my personal Mount Rushmore for me.